Hi guys and welcome back to Sutty Live. This is F1 2021 presented by EA Game Changers. Now, for those of you that don't know me, I'm not the best racer, especially in F1. And some of the most memorable moments I've had from F1 2020 have been crashes, lots and lots of crashes. So what is it that's got me so excited about F1 2021? Is it the fact that they're introducing a fully blown story mode that so many driving games could benefit from nowadays and yet somehow don't? Is it the fact that they're introducing a two-player career mode where you can play with a pal either on the same team or different teams competing through an entire season? Or is it the fact that this is just simply the best looking F1 game in the world? No, no it's not. It's the fact that in both the career mode and the online multiplayer, They've taken the time to think about the casual player, like me. This is going to change everything. The career mode is probably the most interesting part of the game for me. Uh, but up until this version, it's felt like the barrier to entry has been so high. Now, you can actually focus on the parts of the game you're interested in and cut out those that you're not. So you don't need an in-depth understanding of the way that F1 works anymore. You don't need to know your way around a press room and understand how to answer questions. Any of those features that you felt were detracting from your experience in the game, you can now turn on. You add that to the fact that with online multiplayer, the focus now is allowing casual players to be able to get together easily in lobbies and just have a blast. This is gonna be amazing. So there we go, an F1 game with casual players in mind. What were the chances of that? Check out other EA Game Changers for focus on other details of the game. It's out on the 16th of July. Keep an eye open for pre-orders and I'll see you on the grid. 